chickens, it's game time. We're going to do a hard probability question. Please be the most detail oriented you could ever be. And let's try to unpack this problem together. So I'm going to show you, just probably minimize myself completely. Please pause the video, come back to me. All right, what do they want? They want us to find the probability of a person being chosen at random from those who recalled at least one dream. So one dream, two dreams, three dreams, four dreams, five dreams, and more. So we are now looking at these two, okay? Now, what is your total? Because your, your probability is equal to desired outcomes over the total outcomes. So what is your total outcomes? What is the number of people who saw at least one dream? So remember how I said I don't really trust these totals because these totals specifically here, they're going to mess me up. So I'm going to add manually. You don't have to do this, but this is just something that I do to prevent any type of mistakes. So here, here are the numbers that I'm adding. I'm adding 27, 28, apologies, 28, 57, 11, and 68. And altogether, I receive 164. Of course, I can just add these two together, but you know, I told you, I try to be very careful. So 164 is at the bottom. This is my total. So I can eliminate D, I can eliminate A, and I can eliminate B. Uh -huh. I think I found my answer quite quickly. But let's just check. Uh, 79 is the number of desired outcomes. Who was the desired? What is the probability that the person belonged to group Y? Okay, so now... I'm just going to do the desired outcomes in red. They belonged to group Y. 11 plus 68, that is indeed 79. So this works. This is C. But I decided to calculate my total first and foremost because I saw that all of the, um, all of the problems have different totals. And if the total was the same, then I wouldn't be calculating this. And I always like to start with what are they choosing from? And that's because they always phrase the question this way. I hope this video helped you guys dig deeper into probability. The good news is that the SAT doesn't test in a very rigorous way on probability, but ACT does. So when, I'm, when it's time for me to make my ACT math videos, I'm sure I'll cover all sorts of um, probability issues, but you SAT chickens are quite happy and you don't have to worry about that yet. I'll see you in the next video, guys. Bye.